I had to laugh to myself this morning. I was listening to the radio and C.W. McCall's song Convoy came on and it took me back to the late 70s and to the showman's winter quarters in Rickmansworth where friends of mine had got hooked on the CB bug. The song itself had instantly topped both the country and pop charts in America and not long afterwards got to number two in the UK charts. It told the story of a group of rebel truckers who were trying to get their goods delivered whilst at the same time avoiding interference from the law. The song itself gained some traction and over a short amount of time there were films like Breaker Breaker, Citizens Band, Smokey and the Bandit from 1977 that all got on and done very well. On top of that, they had, in America, there was a TV programme called Moving On. And in 1978, Chris Christopherson starred in a film that was based on that song called Convoy. Now in America, CB radio was a big thing, but in the UK, it also caught on, even though it was illegal at the time, and it was an underground wave. Now to my friends, it didn't matter how cold it was, they would sit out in their little van of a night time in the freezing cold, chatting away to loads of other people in this weird, weird language that I just didn't get. And every day they would tell me that I should join them as they were having such great fun talking to these people all over the place. I think the fact that CB was illegal in the UK at the time raised their enthusiasm for it. Anyway, one night they told me that they were going to meet up with a few other CBers at a pub in Rickmansworth called the White Bear. They asked me if I wanted to go along with them. Now this, I couldn't resist. So we turn up at this pub and it's full of these people talking with a dodgy American accent, saying things like, 10 for good buddy, affirmative. I have to say, there were a weird and wonderful bunch of people who were just having a great time. They had these names, they, were, they called them handles, and they were things like Eagle and Large March and Scrap King and things like that. And the names seemed to represent either what they looked like or how they felt about themselves. Now I tried to integrate myself into it, but I don't think they appreciated my sense of humour. And when I said to my two friends on the way home, when are we going again? They looked at me and went, you're not. But at the end of the day, for me, on a cold, damp night, I'd rather be laid in bed watching my telly than freezing me grandmother off in an old van. It's funny when you look back just how popular it was. What started as a legitimate way for lorry drivers in America to communicate with each other on the roads after the film sort of turned into a craze that ended up strangling itself. Now in the late 70s and early 80s in the UK, thousands of users flooded the airwaves and kind of blocked it all up. The CB frequencies were often really, really busy. They got blocked up and in the end, people sort of drifted away from it. Another thing that slowed the craze down in the UK was that it became legal in the early 80s. And through the course of those years, as phones started to come about, the mobile phone, people started using them and less and less people were then on the CB. However, I found out that CB is still alive and well in the UK, although with lower numbers, there are dedicated enthusiasts who still keep going with CB. Now, if you like that little story, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to watch more, click that up there. <laughs>